Do you know that horror is among the top five movie genres? If you're looking for a way to make a faceless YouTube channel, then animated horror stories might be perfect. But how do you get started? Where do you get story ideas? And how do you put everything together and profit from this strategy? In this video, I'll be guiding you through the process of using AI to create your own animated horror story faceless YouTube channel. I'll show you how to create animated horror stories, show you ways to generate images, animate them, add a voiceover, and do some final touches to make sure they're engaging. You'll also discover different ways to monetize your channel and how you can maximize the potential of these videos. Creating a faceless YouTube channel with animated horror videos isn't as hard as it sounds. That's because AI can do most of the work for you. However, you need to understand how exactly you can use AI to help you create this kind of video. Let's start with how you can come up with great stories for your video. Since this YouTube niche is still fresh, it's a great idea to use AI to help you craft the perfect stories. Many people have a preference for specific AI chatbots. If that's the case with you, then feel free to use the one you prefer. I generally like to use Gemini from Google. It was previously known as Google Bard. Head over to Gemini or your AI of choice and ask the bot to give you an idea for a horror story. What I usually do is ask the bot for multiple ideas. That way, I can take a look at all of the ideas and choose the one that I think would be most interesting and engaging. Once you find an interesting one, ask the AI bot to create a story surrounding this idea. You can decide how long the story should be. Tell the AI that you'll be using it for a video and it should be around a certain time. Varying the time of your stories is always good. For example, you could do one story that's two minutes long and then one that's about five minutes long. As the AI bot creates the story, be sure to read through it. If you find any problems inside the story, ask the bot to correct it. You can also ask the bot to make any changes that you're not happy with. This can help to make the video more engaging for those who will watch it. At this point, use AI to also come up with a great name for the story. That's gonna save some time later on. If you asked AI to create a list of different story ideas, be sure to save the other titles that it included. You could use these when you create your next video. Just come back to AI, paste the details of a story, and ask it to write the story. At this point, you should have a solid story that you'll use. You've already searched through YouTube channel ideas, decided on animated horror stories, and AI created your very first one. Now it's time to create some images and then animate them. These images will actually represent your story, so it's important to make sure they're relevant to what the story is about. We're going to use AI to both create and animate these images. The first step is to create these images. For that, we'll be using Leonardo AI. But first, you need some prompts that you can use to create those images. Head back to Gemini or the AI bot you chose and ask it to give you about nine or 10 prompts that you can use to generate background images for your story. Copy the first prompt and head over to Leonardo. Now you'll notice there are a couple of different settings and models that you can use in this app. A good option to start with is the 3D animation style. However, one thing to keep in mind is that it may take a bit of experimenting. Use the prompt with different models and settings. See how these different styles affect the outcome. Once you find a model and settings that work well for the prompts, I'd recommend going to the advanced settings, switching on the fixed seed button and entering a number that will be your seed. When creating images in the same seed, they'll be more in line with each other. This will help to ensure you get consistent results with all the prompts that the AI bot gives you. Now, save your first image, go back to the AI bot and copy the next prompt. Do this for each one while leaving the fixed seed on. Once you have a couple of images, it's time to animate them. Don't worry, you don't need to have animation skills. Once again, AI is going to do this for you. There are a couple of tools that can actually help you animate images using AI. I'd recommend you take a closer look at Runway ML. It's a very popular tool and it has advanced and improved a lot since it was first introduced. Upload the first image and then follow the steps on Runway ML to animate the image. Something that you should keep in mind is the fact that it may take a few tries to get the right type of animation for each of these images. Be patient and experiment with different settings that are available on Runway ML. Save the animated images that Runway ML gives you once you are happy with each of them. Once you have all of these images animated with the app, then you have everything you need to move on with the next step where we're going to actually put it all together in order to create your very first animated horror story. You should now have a lot of great content to work with. You've generated the horror story by using AI. By using a combination of Leonardo and Runway ML, you've been able to create images that perfectly fit the theme of the story and animate them. Now it's time to put everything together and finish off with some creative voiceovers. For this, I'd recommend using CapCut. It's a free video editor. Sure, there's a premium option available, but you get everything you need to create great videos with the free plan. This includes the ability to generate voiceovers for your video. Start by opening up CapCut after you've installed the software. You can alternatively just use the browser-based CapCut Studio if you don't want to download anything. 
The first step is to add those animated images to the video. If you prefer still images, then drag them into the CapCut editor and then onto the scene. Make sure to add all of them before proceeding. At this point, we need the voiceover feature. For this, you're going to paste the story that AI generated for you earlier on as text into CapCut. One thing to keep in mind here is that the AI voiceovers from CapCut have some limitations. In particular, don't expect it to give you a five minute voiceover with one take. Instead, you'll need to break the script down into smaller pieces and then paste each piece individually into CapCut. Apart from the voiceover, it's a good idea to add some captions to the video as well. This ensures viewers can both read and hear the story at the same time. Just use the text tool in CapCut to add captions to your video. Once you're happy with the voiceover and captions, it's time to add some background music to your video. You can do this from CapCut. Just go to the Sounds tab and look for something spooky that matches the horror vibe of your animated short. Spend a bit of time to add some transition effects between the different images that you have in the video. You can also experiment with the effects and filters that come with CapCut. This can add more life to your video and make it feel more engaging. Be sure to play the video and watch it to the end. This will help you identify any problems or errors. If you're happy with the entire video, then it's time to export it. There are a couple of different options that you can configure when exporting the video. I recommend setting the export format to MP4 and the resolution to 1080p. You can use a higher resolution, but from my experience, this is a good option to use for animated horror stories on a faceless YouTube channel. At this point, all that's left to do is to actually upload the video to your faceless channel. Be sure to use a good title and add some details to the description. You can use AI to help you generate these fields. Finally, add a couple of hashtags to your video to help other people find it. You now have the knowledge to create a faceless YouTube channel that revolves around animated horror stories. As you start posting videos, it's time to think about how you can monetize the content. One of the best monetization strategies on YouTube is the YouTube Partner Program. However, you'll have to meet certain criteria before you can access it. For shorts, you'll need 1,000 subscribers and get 10 million views on your shorts in a period of 90 days. While you're aiming for this goal, there are other ways to maximize your earning potential in the meantime. Consider exploring affiliate programs that are related to horror stories. For example, sign up to the Amazon affiliate program and promote the latest horror movies in the description of your videos. People will see the link and may be interested in watching the movie. If they click on your link and decide to buy the movie, you get a profit. It's a great way to make money online using a faceless YouTube channel if you haven't reached the criteria for the YouTube partner program yet. Sponsored videos are also a great way to make money with your channel. However, it's important to note that you'll only be able to get sponsors for your videos once your channel picks up. It's a good idea to wait a while. Work consistently on your channel, get some subscribers, increase your views, and then reach out to potential sponsors. Another strategy that I'd like to share with you here is to post your videos on more than just YouTube. If you're doing animated horror shorts, post them to Instagram and TikTok as well. This can open up new opportunities for you and expand your reach.